Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the only three golf drills you'll ever need. Before we jump in here, I wanna to talk to you guys about two things. Number one, we did launch all of our dates for our two-day golf schools this year. We'll put a link in the description down below with the baseline info. If you do want more details on that, feel free to send me an email. We'll put the email address in the link below. It is the best way that I know how for you guys to get better. Two-day full immersion event really will take your golf game to the next level. We'd love to have some of you guys come for that. If you can't travel in, we also built out cogornogolf.com, which is the next best option to really transform your game. We have a ton of different content on there, really guided learning, quick fix sections, and our Facebook community. I would love to have you guys join our community. You can post up your swings. I could really help take you guys to the next level. If you wanna check out cogornogolf.com, the link will be in the description down below. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Eric here back at the Bethlehem Golf Club. Want to talk to you about the only three golf drills you'll ever need. Now, uh, in me doing in-person, online, and um, lessons through GoronoGolf.com, there's probably one or two, maybe three flaws that I see 90% of the time. I find myself saying the same things over and over again, which means you guys have a lot of the same flaws. And I want to show you three drills that you can do that essentially eliminate like 95% of swing flaws that come up. Now, the things that I see all the time really revolve around two different things. Number one, an open club face. You heard me say that before. Number two, a steep downswing. Right, so nine out of 10 people who send me a swing have some combination of an open club face and a steep downswing. And now the good news is that is completely fixable. I have three drills to do, so I'm gonna show you about. And to do this, you need four things. So we try to keep this very, 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 very simple. So no matter who you are, you're watching this, you can do this. What I have is a golf club, okay? Hopefully we all have a golf club. That would be number one, thing number one. Thing number two is gonna be a alignment rod or driveway marker. Thing number three is just your old uh, driving range bucket. And thing number four is a hanger. So if you have a golf club, a hanger, a driving range uh, bucket, and a little driveway marker, you should be able to fix your open club face and your steep downswing permanently with a little bit of practice. Now let me show you how this works. So to fix an open club face, there's really three things involved, but two main things, okay? Open club face. Number one is your grip, and number two is your wrist conditions. If you get your grip good and your wrist conditions good, which I'll show you how to do, your club face should no longer be open. Those are the two main ones. Now, in terms of grip, briefly, all I want you to try and do with your grip is get the Vs on each of your hands at your trail collarbone. So as a right-handed golfer, if I take my setup, my left-hand V and my right-hand V, both of these two at my right collarbone. I don't want them at my chin. I don't want them left of my chin. I don't want them underneath my collarbone. I want them right at my collarbone. It's essential that our grip is strong enough to have the club face square. Most of you'd be better with a slightly stronger, not weaker grip. So we cannot overlook the grip. I know this is fundamental for some of you, but the V's at my right collarbone is part number one. Number two is the hanger. Now, some of you may have seen the hanger before, some not. This is just a plastic hanger. I don't know if these cost two cents maybe um, that you can find at home that you can use. Hanger. When I put the hanger on, I put it on the left side of the club where the edge of the hanger is basically at the bottom of the grip. That's how I prefer to set it up. When I take it, uh, my grip, it feels a little bit weird in the beginning. When you take your grip, you're going to wrap it around to where the hanger is on the left side. Now notice if I have a neutral grip, I have the hanger pressing against my left forearm at my setup position. When I do my backswing positions in a second, I want to keep that pressed against my form, even pressing more against my form. Now notice when I do that, what happens to my club face? Tilted slightly down. When I don't do that and I have forearm roll, much more toe up. So hangers on, hangers on, hangers on. Now I want to kind of build a model in here through about left arm parallel. And it starts with club face. Now, if club face is just your problem and not the shallowing of the downswing, then you could focus primarily on this. You have basically three steps here, okay? Grip on good first. So V's at the right collarbone would be part number one. Let's do it this way. V's at the right collarbone. Tilt the club face down, okay, here towards the ground. Left wrist flat, right wrist bent back. Go in line with my right pec, and then my left wrist is still flat, right wrist bent back, club face tilted. 
that's your club face. And then as I start down, I'm gonna push into the hanger, almost like I'm breaking the hanger, increasing pressure so my face stays tilted down. That's club face 101. Grip on there, good, V's at right collarbone. Face tilted down to here, face tilted down, face tilted down as I shallow, and then pressing on it on the way through. That is drill number one, which is your grip, this. Drill number two is this hanger. Now drill number three is we're gonna combine that with this stick here and put this together as kind of one big drill that literally if you get just good at these things, like 90% of your flaws are gone. So what do we have? I have a range bucket and a stick, right? I take the stick and I put it through the range bucket on an angle here where when I take my setup position, if I go right here, I like to set it up where I put the club on my toe line like this and I give myself maybe like three to four inches max between that stick. Meaning I don't set up where it's here, that's too high, right, too low. That would be too far away. I don't go with it really high up. I don't have it down here. I like it just outside of my toe line. So normal setup position, club over the toe, stick is there. Now, if I can figure out how to manage this hanger in club face and figure out how to get the club head working underneath that stick, I then, by definition, have two things going for me really well. Number one, my club face is square enough. Number two, my downswing shallow enough. Now, how many of you watching this have those two things in line? Maybe 10%? Right, maybe 10% of you. If you have a really strong club face and a shallow downswing. Now, if you're watching this and your club face is too closed or your downswing is too shallow, then you are within that 10%. I wouldn't worry about this. If not, I would. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the hanger in. Step one, V's to my right collarbone. Step two, tilt the face down. Step three, keep that left wrist flat, curl that thing against my left wrist. I feel pressure. I'm gonna come underneath the stick and turn my right side through. So let's do that again. Step one, V's at my right collarbone. Step two, tilt the face down. Step three, keep the face tilted down, left wrist flat. Step four, underneath the stick. Step five, rotation. So I'm gonna do that same thing with a ball, and I can even pause and feel that. So is my grip good, part one, yes. Tilt it under, tilt it under, and then underneath. And that would be my swing number one. And as I'm doing this, of course, I'm gonna give myself feedback via video. I'm gonna see if I'm actually doing what I'm trying to do. And I'm gonna exaggerate accordingly. So same sort of things. Normal setup, V's at my right collarbone, face tilted down, face tilted down, underneath with rotation. And when I say rotation, there's different ways to do that. For me personally, I feel my right side going through. Now, if you get good at those five steps, your foundation to your golf swing is really, really good. Are there other things that could go off? Absolutely. But in terms of building a foundation, this is beautiful. So same thing. This is on, grip. Now notice when I go through these, I say the five steps every time. I don't just hop back in, I hit one to the right and adjust, hit one to the left and adjust, do something different. I do the same five things over and over and over. So when you're practicing, if you're gonna do like 30 reps of this, you gotta do the same exact thing every single time and tell yourself, V's at the right collarbone. Face tilted down, face tilted down under and rotate, same thing, that's three. So I would probably do like 30 of these. I'd literally do the same thing every time, tell myself the same thing, and the only difference that you're not gonna see here is I'd have my live view on or I'd have my phone on, I would see what I'm doing and adjust accordingly based on what I'm doing, and I do that every time I practice. I, you never have it, I never assume I have it done. I need constant, constant feedback. So I'll do one more, and guess what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get my V's at my right collarbone. How do I know if my V's are at my right collarbone? I could have my phone on in front of me, right, or a mirror, I could check that, same thing. So I'm gonna go V's at my right collarbone, never guessing. I'm gonna go tilt the face down, tilt the face down, under with turn. And that would be my swing foundation. Now you can't see the balls going dead straight, but Mary can see them. If you do those things well, you're gonna hit the ball fairly well. So, like honestly, a lot of you just need these things and you need to get good at them. Now, can you do other things off there? Sure, absolutely. But get good at these stock pieces. Hanger, little stick, range bucket, and go through the same things every time. Get your club face lined up, get your downswing lined up, right? This will work, you gotta work it. If that feels really, really, really underneath, that's okay, okay, record it and check it and then continue doing the same things. This is not too much to do at one time, okay? If your club face is open and you're too steep, you need to do these things. So hope that helps. If you guys have any questions on these, leave a comment down below.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please do us a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell. Also, please subscribe if you haven't. If you would like more instruction from me tailored for you, check out kilgornogolf.com. The link is in the description down below. Also, catch us every Monday, 5 p.m. live here on YouTube, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Would love to see you there. Thank you guys.